I'm Chaotic Shmoo, and I'm here to continue your education on Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 edition. Now this week, you're going to learn about speed and carrying capacity. We'll be using chapter 9 of the Player's Handbook for this tutorial. Now it looks like Logan has got himself into a situation without knowing anything about his movement speed or carrying capacity. To start, let's get Logan some speed so he can run away until he gets his equipment in the next tutorials. Since we can't do much with this goblin, we're going to have to move away using our speed. But in order to get speed, we got to know what it is. Well, every character, monster, NPC, etc., they have a movement speed. Movement speed is generally only used in combat, however there are other types of situations where it does apply. An example is like when your character needs to run and catch up with someone or needs to run away. Uh, speed is determined by many different ways. Each race has their own base speed. Specific classes can increase the character's speed as they level. Uh, there are there are different types of speed too, as such as flying, swimming, walking, and even running. So, with this, Logan's base speed, because he's human, is 30. 30 is also not just the human's base speed, but it tends to be the base normal speed of a medium-sized creature. Now, a medium-sized creature is like a human elf, half-elf, half-orc, we're medium sized, a, a human size, basically. Uh, so our base speed is 30. Well, we, we have our base speed now. So now we know Logan's base speed, which is 30. He doesn't get any other bonuses for his class. Fighters don't get any bonus. Um, example, a monk and barbarians get 10 more movement speed starting off. Monks speed increases as they level, barbarians just have a set extra movement speed. Otherwise, Logan will stick with his 30. So I'm going to come over here to the character sheet here, we're going to go right here where it says speed, and we're just going to enter 30. You can do 30, you can do 30 feet, uh, it is 30 means it is feet. So Logan's got his 30 feet. Well, now if we come back over here to the roll 20, we can see that there's squares. There's, there's squares here. Well, each square is five feet. And you see with the indicator here. Going to five, zero, because that's the spot it's on. It's five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, you know, and so on and so forth. So we use this number, this, this 30 base movement speed, to indicate with our tokens or miniatures our movement how far we can go in a combat turn or round. Logan's 30, so the max he can move is 30 per round. Now, that's for walking. Running is times four. Um, on page is it 162, table 9-3, a really good chart for speed. It explains all the different speeds and everything for depending on what you're doing, depending on how long you're taking, depending on if you're running, depending on your base speed. So we'll use the column right here of 30 feet. So walking is 30, hustling is 60, running times 3 is 90, running times 4 is 120. It's literally just multiplying by 3 and 4. Um, and then more, even more comp even more in-depth stuff, if, depending on how in-depth you're... you're uh, Game Master runs the game. So, with that, I mean, Logan, let's have Logan here run away as we can't do anything right now. So, we're going to move him back six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, he's moved back six spaces to get his space so that we don't, you know, that pesky goblin can't hit him anymore right now while we get the rest of his gear. So, and now, again, that was as simple as 30 divided by 5 feet, simple math, 6 spaces. So now that Logan's at a safe distance, 
Let's figure out how much Logan can carry with his carrying capacity. Otherwise, we don't know what kind of equipment he can have. If we get too much and he's carrying too much, he's going to be slowed and he's going to suffer penalties. So let's figure out exactly what his load is. Now on the same page, that 162, table 9-1 has your carrying capacity. Now we go off the strength score, not the modifier, the actual score. Switch over here, which is a 16. So the actual score, and we'll go down the chart, and right here. So there's three different types of carrying capacity. There's your light load, your medium load, and your heavy load. Listed right here in the columns, very simple. Well, light load suffers no penalties. As long as we don't go over 60, or I'm sorry, 76, dyslexia. As long as we don't go over 76 pounds, we stay in the light load, we don't suffer any penalties. As soon as we go to 77 to 153, we suffer medium carrying load penalties. Max dexterity, which is related to our armor, I'll get to that when we get to the equipment after this is the maximum dexterity we can have for this. We have check penalties, which check penalties are all related to skill checks. Check out the skill tutorial, tutorial number four in the this series to learn more about skills if you haven't been following along or uh, don't know about them. And then our speed drops to 20 if we have a base 30. If we have a base 20, such as a dwarf, uh, we would go down to 15. Our run speed is still times four though. So we suffer some penalties. Well, if we go over that 153, and we go 154 to 230, we go into the heavy penalty, which lowers our dexterity mod max modifier. It gives us even bigger check skill check penalties. Our speed stays the same. It still drops, but it stays the same as what medium load is. And our run is only times three instead of times four. So we want to make sure we stay pretty much under 76 pounds. Otherwise, we're going to have those penalties and we, you know, we might need to move faster. We might need not that that negative 3 to our check penalties for skills could really affect us. And it can lower our armor depending on what we have. Now, if I remember right, our dexterity is a plus 2. So even if we went into a heavy load or I'm sorry, a medium load, the max dexterity wouldn't affect us for armor and all that stuff. Again, I'll, I'll explain that more. That might be really confusing to you right now, but it'll make sense in the next section of this tutorial when we get armor. So now we know how much he can he can carry. Well, let's go here and get... Eh, if my screen wants to work right. And put his... Put it in here. So now... On this side of the screen right here, it's a really cool thing about uh, Mythweaver. If my character sheet wants to show up, there we go. <laughs> Is it already inputs it based off our skill points. So we already have them in here. But if you noticed, there's no like 77 to 153 or 154 to 230. It just takes the max number because that's the max you can carry for that load category. There's no need to take the other ones to take the minimum because the minimum goes into the next category. And now you have three other sections here, which is overhead, off ground, and push and drag. Well, overhead is same as your max load because it's literally physically, you know, picking it up. That's just max. That's the max amount you can physically pick up. Then you have off the ground, which is barely being able to pick, pick it, pick it up. You know, and then push and drag, which is literally what it is. Pushing and dragging an object. You can lift up to that, or push and drag that much. 1150. It's quite a bit. For only a strength of 16, when the max strength and rolls, again, previous tutorial ability scores, 18 is the max. So it's, it's you know, Logan's not that bad. He's, he's, he's decent. So that wraps up the speed and carrying capacity. With speed being, his base being 30 because he's a human, 
And I remember speed, you can uh, increase that with different classes such as the Barbarian and the Monk with the uh, grid increments of the miniatures and tokens on roll 20 with one square being five feet, moving up to six feet being 60, simple math right there. Uh, and then his carrying capacity where he can only carry a maximum of 76 pounds of light load before he gets into the penalties of medium load and the penalties of heavy load. You gotta make sure you monitor that stuff so you don't become too encumbered. Uh, remember table 9-3 on page 162 is really good for speeds and then you also have the 9-1 for carrying capacities um, which will help you also to know your carrying capacities unless you're using Myth Weavers, which automatically calculates it for you, but it is still good to know. So that has been the Speed and Carrying Capacity tutorial. Please remember to share, like this video, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome fun and support. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'm Chaotic Shmoo, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.